People who no longer speak to their best friends who they thought would be in their lives forever. Why did you stop talking slash being best friends? Just kind of faded out. We had different friend groups as adults, and as time went on the once a week dinner turned into once a year. Once a year turned into not even talking at all. Bought me a $3,000 computer set up then the following week his parents called me to let me know he committed suicide. At the time it didn't make any sense and was seemingly out of the blue. I had known him since elementary all up till we graduated college and he was quite literally the best person I knew and tbhr looked up to him. He carried a charisma that drew people to him but was never arrogant, one of the most, if not the most selfless guy I knew, and was always considerate slash inclusive of others. Handsome dude that was committed to maintaining good fitness, so it always seemed like he had his together. Since he happened to be a total fantasy slash seafy nerd, and funnily enough the best gamer out of us, was in great shape, and had such a humble personality, we had jokingly nicknamed him the unicorn for being a human being that shouldn't exist. Our first night ever drinking he drank enough to totally black out. As he started to sober up he started crying about how worthless he felt. First and last time he ever blacked out, and looking back afterwards he had always been methodical in how he drank. This was the only time I had seen him in such a vulnerable state, and we had all just laughed it off that night thinking he just happened to cry while drunk. The recalling of that still makes me cringe. Makes me wonder if I ever had the right to be his best friend. If he was suffering I had never known. I miss him. They stopped putting in the effort to hang out. I was always the one trying to get together and they would blow me off almost every time. Finally, I stopped trying and now we don't talk at all. Best friend since kindergarten. First friend I made in my new town. Freshman year of college I was home for break and he was over my house with another friend. I went upstairs to talk with my parents and left them downstairs in the den. When I came back I couldn't find my phone, so I checked upstairs again. Then when I gave up and came back downstairs I noticed it poking out from under the couch. Sweet. They leave pretty soon after, and pretty soon after that I get a text from my college friend, who has the same name as the other friend that was over, saying, Hey uh, your gf is pretty, but I'm not sure why you sent me a bunch of nude pics of her. I'm gonna go ahead and assume it was by accident and delete them. Turns out my friends took my phone, found my gfs nudes, sent them to themselves, tried they picked someone else with the same name, deleted the outgoing message, hid my phone, let me look for it, then planted it where it could be found. The only reason I ever found out is because my very friend from college was open enough to message me about it. I never talked to those other two again. I have a primal rage when I think about the pathology it takes to do something like that. They are not my people. I was best friends with someone for 12 years and we did everything together. Well, everything that she wanted. It was always about her and her schedule, never compromising for me. I went to every event she had, even her parents anniversary dinner. One year my mother had just passed away and I was home alone. I asked her to come over and she said she was going to a friend's house to party because she broke up with her boyfriend. We haven't spoken to each other in probably 2 years and I've never been happier. He borrowed my $600 guitar amp for a show and never gave it back. We were friends since the third grade. 74 years old, most of my friends are dead. After several years just realized I always felt awful about myself after leaving his and his family's presence. Our mutual friends had a saying it's not a trip to xxxx's house until you get criticized. From the clothes you were wearing to how dirty your car is, just a barrage of the final straw was, when I was dating my now wife, we went to go hang out at his house, and he immediately pounces on my appearance, was wearing a hard hat all day do my hair looked a little funky, then handed me a bag of aluminum cans for me to recycle and put towards my house fund was in deep saving mode. Fortunately my wife was a good sport, but realizing what the hell this guy was trying to accomplish, embarrassing me in front of someone I'm interested in for no reason at all, walked out after that and never looked back. Cut out completely. I tried to help her with her addiction to drugs and she cut me off. It's been 6 years since I talked to her and I just found out she died.
I have known her since I was 16 and I'm 54 now. It was very hard to see how she changed from a sweet girl to a completely different person. I got ill, regular doctor's appointments, and didn't have the energy to do lots of activities. They just stopped talking to me and blanked me when they saw me. We were completely inseparable through middle and high school and had always planned to stay together through college. She didn't get into my choice schools, so, being an extremely dumb and anxious teenager, I foolishly agreed to attend a second-rate school with her instead, as not to be alone. Shortly before the start of our freshman year of college she informed me she was no longer going to school with me and was instead moving to New York City to live with a guy she met on the internet. She'd known this for months but neglected to tell me until it was too late to do anything about it. He died. Him and his wife were in a motorcycle accident and neither of them made it. My son had been born recently and I kept putting off introducing him to them because we'll go tomorrow. They never got to meet him, my son will never meet my best friend, and I regret my laziness so much. Best friend of 11 to 12 years slept with my girlfriend of 6 years. Now they live together with my old dog, Hertzman. She couldn't stop smack talking me to everyone. She had incredibly low self esteem, and when I met her, so did I, but each step I took towards being more confident in herself, she saw as a threat. I started working out and losing weight. She told everyone that I was trying to look better than her, eventually that turned into she stopped going to the gym and just did to stay thin. Nope, never done hard drugs in my life, and I was attending double sessions at the gym. I started seeing this guy who was really sweet and nice to me, she said I was just seeing him to show her what a jerk her boyfriend was. I was getting a dog, after moving out of the apartment, she said I was doing it to taunt her, since her new place didn't allow dogs and minded, I specifically looked for dog friendly places. I'd hang out with different groups of people, because my antidepressants had kicked in, and I wanted to be social again, she said I was going out, to make her feel bad for not having friends, except that I'd invite her to come, but she told me she didn't like those people whom she'd only met once, and was rude the entire time. I changed my major to business, while she was in writing, because I found business to be ridiculously easy, she said I did it, because I wanted to make her feel poor after graduation. My parents rented a place at the beach and I invited her along, and told her that they'd cover expenses, because my parents remembered, being poor college students, and wanted us to have good meals and fun. She went but later said I invited her along because I wanted to show off my family's wealth. We went off season to a cheap place within driving distance. It got to the point where I couldn't say any longer that the people telling me these things were lying. It seemed like almost every day I was telling someone they must have misunderstood her that she wouldn't say that. But nope. She reveled in being a frenemy and I thought I had a friend. I distanced myself and she went nuclear. I had friends send me screenshots of the insane messages she was sending them about me, completely unprovoked. We haven't been on speaking terms in almost a decade. Knowing that he emotionally abuses the absolute hell out of every girl he dates. She ghosted me after about 20 years of friendship. I foolishly didn't see it coming and tried for a few months to call, text her. No response. I grieved for a long time. Long time. Edit. Thanks guys. My most popular post. And I'm so sorry to see it is about such a lousy topic. Lol. And to update. No. I never found out why. She moved literally 1000 miles slash 1600 kilometers during away. Got married. Bought a house. Had a kid. Quit her job to stay at home. And I was still living a 20 something yuppie single life in the big city. I went to her wedding and I'm very happy for her, but we stopped having much in common. I had a friend I always hung out with in high school. We were absolute best friends, did everything together. After high school, I attended the local college. He went into the workforce. He started to spend more and more time at a local gaming place, Frags. Almost any time he wasn't working, or, on the rare occasion, Hanging out with friends other than his fellow gamers, he was there playing an MMO, can't remember which one, it was really popular at the time. There had been a few occasions that he blew off spending time with me, but no big deal, 
I understood he had his fun things he wanted to do, even if I wasn't really into it. However, there were a few other times where we made plans with friends and he just forgot. He would sit for hours in front of the computer screen at frags and totally lose track of time. The next day he'd be all apologetic and we would forgive him. One day, I got tickets to a comedian we both liked. He was going to be performing locally. I had just two tickets, so it was just me and him. We made plans to see the performance, and I went to pick him up at his place for about an hour before the show. I get to his house, and his family hasn't seen him. His sister says, of course, he's probably at Frags. I headed there, and sure enough, he was there, but has gone to grab food with other people, and has no plans whatsoever to meet up with me. I got so mad at that moment, that he would just blow me off like that. He probably forgot, like I said, not the first time, but it was just so hurtful that we could go from best friends to this. I guess everything just kind of blew up at that point, and his behavior just made me switch off. I went to see the comedian by myself, sitting alone, which wasn't much fun. Those kinds of experiences are things you want to share with someone, you know? He never even tried to get in touch with me until about 3 days later when he called my house. I told my parents to tell him I'm not home and I never spoke to him again. That was about 18 years ago now 